Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. Getting a look outside with your West Shore Home First Alert Sky Cam from Whiteville Jail Powell Building. Checking out Vineland Station under sun and some cumulus clouds. Occasionally those cumulus spitting a little rain. A little more than just a spit of rain in the Caribbean. Clouds associated with the National Hurricane Center added again. Potential tropical cyclone 22. Odds decreasing now that this becomes tropical storm Vince, but still unsettled weather in the area. The bottom line for us direct or indirect impacts from this feature or whatever it tries to develop not coming here. So that's good news is we're now inside two weeks from the official end of the hurricane season. Closer to home, low pressure is non tropical. It's making up some showers off the coast. Occasionally these have been breaking off and coming shoreward. Had some spotty showers in the night and the day so far today. We're not going to get into the full teeth of the rain chances with this system. The better ones offshore, but overnight last night, about a third of an inch of rain in Ogden, Holly Shelter, a little bit over a quarter of an inch of rain at ILM Airport, and a couple of hundredths at Masonboro and St. James, Brunswick County. Most places have recorded nothing. So that's this afternoon. Let's go forward hour by hour and ultimately day by day with this eastern U.S. future radar model. Dry weekend, showers with a front there. Thursday's Thanksgiving, Black Friday looks dry. Maybe another system by the end of Thanksgiving weekend. We can add some percentages and details to that in the seven day coming up. If you're getting a jump on Thanksgiving weekend and maybe hitting the road through I-20 or I-85 around Atlanta, across the deep south, pretty good travel day today. And some showers trying to catch up with some of the interior northeast interstates like 81 through Pennsylvania by the end of the day. Good luck if you're traveling north. Can be dicey this time of year. If you're staying home like me, here's your 10 day planning forecast. A couple of cool downs with this whole process. The first one between Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. So it's going to be brisk as you head off to church. And we're still thinking Thanksgiving itself is going to be a cool slash chilly one, Kim, here in 2023. Right now, temperature is not so cool. Of course, they're still in the 70s. Back to you.